Hey everybody, do you know what time it is? It is time for some more Let's Play Paper Mario. In the last part, we unlocked the door to Chapter 7, and in this part, we're going to start it up. First up, by saving. Because saving makes everything better. Anyway, so yes, this is sh this is Shiver City, even though it, it isn't really a city, it's more of a village. But uh, if you come in here, I believe if you rest in here... Mm-hmm, uh-huh, take a nap, mm-hmm, uh-huh. Whoa, we're sleeping off Lucky Lester. What? The H. But um, about your recommendations that I had you guys leave in the last part. Um, well, if you see here, you get an item. Uh, ice potato. That sounds disgusting. But uh, <laughs> yeah, about those recommendations that I had you guys leave in the comments in the last part, I unfortunately will be not will not be able to read them because I'm recording this right after that one. So if I haven't fixed any problems that you guys had with my commentary or anything, that's why. Um, apparently, wait, have these guys been in throughout the entire game? When you hear about Shiver City, ice skating is the first thing that comes to mind. Yeah, there were a group of traveling toadettes in, Cha in Paper Mario 2, but I don't think these are them, or have anything to do with them, for that matter. Uh, this is the mayor, or no, this is the city guard. I'm investigating a report of a suspicious character wandering around the city. You, you're not him, are you? If it is, then that's just sad. Um, I think you can actually break this. Yeah, but you're supposed to break it at a different time. What are, what are you doing? Stop that. Have you lost your wits? What if the ice breaks? Then the penguins will drown! Oh my god. These penguins are prinnies. Oh my god, I love this chapter. Screw you, chapter 6. This is by far my favorite chapter. But what you're actually supposed to do is you gotta go left. Well, there's an item shop for you. Ooh, Chuck Quizmo. I am a D H D. Wait, is it or is it A D D D? I don't, I don't even know. But, uh... <laughs> Yeah, here we have Chuck Wismo again. If you're wondering how I'm going to handle all the star pieces you get from him, in the interlude of this chapter, I'm just going to go around and get the remaining ones, you know, I'll have to run around the entire world trying to see him a good 50 more times. That should be fun. And there's the next star piece. Uh, 12 questions, only 62 more to go. <laughs> oh, I hate my life. But yeah, as I was saying, these, pe these penguins are prinnies. That's just amazing. And ooh, we have star piece in this area. And I know exactly where it is. I, I I do know exactly where it is, right? Um, is it right here? Oh, wow. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. I'll, I'll go with it. Okay, so here we have the mayor's house. You can tell about the symbolic snowman. Yes. Okay, I'm gonna have fun voice acting the penguins in this. Oh, we have a guest, dude! Welcome! You're her, you poor man! You must be freezing, dude! If you'd like to see my husband, he's in the other room, dude! Please, go right in, dude! I'm sorry, but, um, those of you who don't get the reference, Prinnies are penguin creatures from the Disgaea series. I currently have one in my avatar. And they say dude a lot. And frame As I was saying, before being rudely interrupted by frame drops, we're gonna walk in here, and oh my god, a dead Prinny! Well, that doesn't make sense, because in the, Dis in the Disgaea series, when you pro when you throw a printy, he just explodes. There's no corpse. No apply. Mary Penguin's body doesn't budge an inch. Dude, what's this? He has a memo in his hand that says, Herringway. Dude. Darling, would you like a cup of tea, dude? Hmm? Oh, dear. You know you'll catch a cold if you sleep there, dude. <laughs> I'm loving this so much. No, dude. I love this song so much. Dun, dun, dun. Help somebody, anybody, dudes! My husband is dead. He's been murdered, dudes. It's a penguin murder mystery, dude. Dun, dun. And it seems as though Mario is going to be blamed because he was just kind of standing there when his wife found out. What's going on here, madam? Just calm down now. You need to speak slowly so I can get to the bottom of this, dudette. <laughs> I'm, I'm loving this so much. It's funny, because 99% of you are not going to get that reference. My husband is dead. Look at him lying there, dude. Oh, my darling husband. Somebody clipped his fingers. What? Penguins don't have fingers. Nor do prinnies. By Puffin, you're right. The mayor's been murdered, dude. This is like a mystery novel, except it's real. How tragic. But, madam, if I may ask, who on earth would have reason to put this penguin on ice? Sorry, I had to check the recording. Him! Right there, dude! That man with the suspicious mustache. Dude, I told him not to come in the house, but he barged right in, dude! 
My husband was alive right up until this man showed up. Call me crazy, but this sounds a little fishy. Maybe the wife was the murderer! And she's framing us. He must be the murderer. Although I must say, that is not something they put in a Nintendo game. Hey you, mustache! Are you listening? This good woman's accusing you. What do you say for yourself? Um, dude? <laughs> Don't try to play ignorant with me, buddy. I'm a professional. We've got a witness here, dude. Isn't that right, madam? Oh, frame drop. Besides, he's the only one who came into this room. It all adds up. Yeah, I got more frame drops. It's getting really annoying. So you're sticking to your story, claiming you're not the culprit. What? Are you nuts, man? Mario's not a murderer. That's completely ridiculous, dude. It's funny, because that's actually something he'd say. Hmm, if you're telling the truth, then we're dealing with a backroom murder case. And now he's telling us that unless we can find proof that we're not the murderer, we will be considered the murderer, and we won't be able to leave the town. Which is, of course, bad, because we need to leave the town in order to get the Star Spirit, and we need to get the Star Spirit in order to save the world. So, in a nutshell, we cannot save the world because of a bunch of prinnies. Uh, wait a minute. What happens if you didn't get that? Wow! You can't get the star piece if these guys are here. That's actually kind of funny. But, um, yes, now we have eerie music playing. Because there's a murder mystery going on. Yeah, this is kind of a running thing in the Paper Mario series. And yeah, you can see we can't leave. You'd better show some evidence if you're really not the one who murdered Mr. Peng- Mr. Penguin! <laughs> Uh, but yes, this is actually pretty simple. A lot of people get stuck here. But yes, as I was saying, this is kind of a running theme in the Paper Mario series. Murder mysteries at some point, somewhere around Chapter 6. So I believe what we need to do is come here. It's locked, of course. So what you need to do is, as I showed earlier, you gotta break this. And now, the uh, sheriff, the chief person, isn't here to stop you, so we can just break it. And by the ice breaking, we are sent all the way over here. Mystical ice. Okay, now. And now we're going to get out our paper fish, and we're going to go in the paper water to get the paper key. Any questions? I didn't think so. Alright, the warehouse key. Now you're probably wondering, I referenced to it as a house, so we need a warehouse key to get into someone's house. You see, Mario is going to pull uh, shenanigans. So that. Alright, if, if I remember correctly. Uh, nothing in here. Alright, I, I was just checking. Alright, so what we need to do is... Wait, I think there's some kind of secret in here. Uh, gotta jump up on anything? Anything? Oh, I guess not. Alright, just jump in here. Alright, now what you need to do is slide down, and you'll land on this guy's roof. And I believe if you walk off the front here, you fail. Let's try that again. <laughs> in my little Austrian adventure, I actually got a cup of water, because my voice was getting a little raspy. I'm just gonna go down here. And rather than rather than the chimney being kind of like a pipe, like you'd expect from a Mario game, it just kind of, you know, lets you fall. Ah, <sighs> water. What in the... What are you in my fireplace? That guy looks awfully suspicious. I mean, look at his eyebrows. They're like crazy. You found my secret room, dude! Through the chimney? Ingenious! Dude. And I love how he doesn't have a door. He just kind of, you know, sits in here all day. I guess he's trapped. I wonder who trapped him here. So I guess he didn't murder the mayor, because he can't leave this room. I guess he just sits in here and reads all day. Me? I'm Hemingway. Ah, it's funny, because there's a writer called Hemingway, I think. Haven't you heard of me, dude? He's famous. He's, he's like he's like Mario. What? Mario... <laughs> mayor Penguin was murdered, and I'm the chief suspect? You must be joking! Oh yeah, I guess I should have explained this. The reason why he's a chief suspect is because the mayor had a note with the word Herringway on it when he died, so that's why this guy is the chief suspect. You must be joking! That's ridiculous! I did no such thing! I don't know, man. Your eyebrows are pretty crazy. You're very suspicious, huh? Well, I suppose I would be too. It appears as though I should drop in at the mayor's house. And... Engage Staz! No way. FRAME DROP! Okay, those frame drops are getting really annoying. Whether you guys like it or not, I'm getting new component cables to, to fix it. I, I I can't stand it. I really can't. But yeah, now we're just gonna follow Mr. Herringway mm, yes, to the mayor's house. Uh, wow, he's a really fast runner. He can't even beat my speedrunning skills. And as we all know, my speedrunning skills are just naturally amazing. Mm -hmm. Yes, bragging. Oh, 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 oh! I was gonna beat him there, but an invisible wall stopped me. Dude. Alright, oh, 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 what, oh, what now? We beat you. Mm-hmm, dude. 
Alright then, I guess we're just gonna talk to the person. Oh, you again, dude. Have you come up with anything? Hmm. Say, isn't that penguin behind you the mystery novel writer named Herringway? Dude. What? What? Mary Penguin was clutching a piece of paper that had Herringway written on it? Bah, if that were true, I most certainly would have noticed it. Well, you see, just like how Mario can't read, penguins are blind. Hmm, he definitely does have... He, de he definitely does appear to be holding a piece of paper. So he's holding his own flesh, because in this game, flesh is made out of paper. Yes, of course, it's a message about his death. With his last breath, the mayor told us the murderer's identity. Identity, bleh. Don't you think the murderer would, like, take the paper away, then? So, Mr. So Mr. Herringway, you cold-hearted murderer! It all makes sense now. No wonder your novels are so exciting and suspenseful. You live out your own plots! That's actually, that's actually a pretty cool idea. Hmm, I wonder if they have a novel like that. Dear men, do you have any idea how ridiculous you sound? You actually think I would do this to the mayor? He's a great friend of mine. Kirby, I blame the yarn. Sorry, I I had to. That's like the best line ever. Is from Kirby's epic yarn. Frame drop. Damn frame drops. Aha! But that was just a cover so that no one would suspect you of this heinous crime. That's it, isn't it? I've solved this crafty mystery. Oh come on, really? You simple, simple penguin. I would never be so predictable. Besides, I'm completely innocent, dude. I've been working in my house on my new novel for weeks. Nerd. Dude, I didn't have time to sneak over here to kill the mayor. I'd just like to say that I still think the man in the mustache is the murderer, okay? <laughs> hmm, this penguin murder mystery is getting more intriguing all the time. Oh my god. The Prinny is being reincarnated! Just like in Disgaea! <laughs> oh. Oh my, aching. Ouch! Why well, didn't he turn yellow like you're supposed to? No. Oh. Eek! My husband's returned! He's a ghost! No, he's a zombie. No. Oh, good gracious. Hello, everyone. What's going on here? Shenanigans. What, what? Mayor, we thought you were dead. Our backroom murder mystery is a wash. What a plot twist. Huh? What are you talking about? Um... I think I seem to remember some... I... Ah. Yeah, you guys have probably noticed I cannot speak. Just in general. <laughs> I seem to remember going to the shelf to get the souvenir from Herringway. Oh, yes, of course. I reached up, slipped, and then whacked my head on the floor. Yes, that's what happened. Because that's a very likely thing to happen. And he brings the present over to Herringway. Here you are, Herringway. This is what I was reaching for. So town was great fun. So many interesting sights. Wish you could have been there. Sometime after all this hubbub settles down, I'll give you a full account of the big city. So I guess he's giving Herringway a souvenir from Toad Town, which really isn't that far away, so... Ugh. More water. But Mayor, here we were thinking that you'd be murdered. That, you, that you'd been... That you'd have been murdered. God, I can't speak. The whole city... Oh my god, I hate frame drops more than I hate doors. Oh yes, so sorry. Aha, uh -huh, I thought it rather entertaining, actually. Besides, everything's okay now. The Mayor is just fine. Wait a minute, so you thought it was interesting that you thought that you were being accused of being a murderer? I must return to my home now. I believe I've just had an idea. Dun, dun, dun! <laughs> no. Um, I have the best intentions, but for some reason, I always end up causing a ruckus. Aww. Maybe it's because you're fat. Hello! Sorry about all that, dude! I must apologize, dude! Say, dude! You're Mario, dude! Aren't you, dude? Okay, I'll stop. Well, let me welcome you to Shiver City, Jewel to North. And we ask him if we can have access to leave this place, and we also ask him for directions to Starborn Valley. I'll tell the, gate the gatekeeper to allow you to leave the city. You better bundle up. Even though we don't. You know, that's just kind of a given. Why would we bother bundling up? <laughs> But um, I'm thinking I'm going to end the episode here. We're a bit little, uh, the recording is a little bit over 17 minutes. I'll probably cut out a little bit. But next time on Let's Play Paper Mario, we're going to leave this very strange city. And we are going to proceed further in Chapter 7. Not much to say there.